If you want to make your videos more accessible and rank higher on YouTube, adding captions is the key. Now I'm going to walk you through a couple of different methods to be able to add these directly in YouTube. Let's take a look. All right, so we're going to start out in YouTube Studio. So we're in YouTube. You click on your profile picture. You go down to YouTube Studio. And this should look familiar if you've uploaded any videos or have anything in there. And this brings you into the channel dashboard here. And then on the left side, you're going to click on subtitles right here. And that'll bring you to the subtitle menu. And this is where a lot of creators kind of overlook this section. Now this lists all your videos and you can click on the one that you want to add captions to. So I'm just going to find a video here and we'll click on this one. And then the first time in here, you'll just want to select a language. So I'm going to go down to English, select that. And then you have a box here to click if you want to make this the default for your channel. So you can select that if you choose. Click confirm and then it'll bring you into this setting here. Now, once you get to this page here, you've got a couple options. You can add additional languages other than what's in there. And you can see that YouTube has also automatically captioned the videos for you. And then up here for the video language, which is what we just select, you can see the subtitle section, which is empty right now. And you can click on the pencil tool to add the subtitles. Now we've got a couple of different options. One is you could upload a file. So if you have a subtitle file that you've already created, like a SRT file, you can upload it directly here and then it'll sync with the video with all the time codes. And then you have auto sync, which is you type out the text and then YouTube syncs it to the video automatically. And then you have type manually. So you listen to the video and as you go, you type out each word and subtitle by yourself. One thing, if you do click on the type manually button, there is an option here to click down here to pause while you're typing. So you can get an idea, know what the sentence is, and then type along with that. And it will pause the video each time you do that. So it kind of helps keep the process a little more succinct. And in this case, this is a very short video, so it may not take as long to do that one, but this can be kind of cumbersome. So I'm gonna close out of this one discard changes okay we go back into this so with auto sync now if you already have like the script from the video or all of the text that's already been transcribed from the video you can dump it into here and allow youtube to then auto sync it with what it's hearing on the screen so this is kind of the best of both worlds where you are supplying the text but you don't have to worry about the timing you're letting youtube do that for you so that's a really great option if you do have everything that has already been scripted or you have the transcription for it now, if you don't have the transcription for it, a little easy method to do for this is if you open up Google Documents, which you have if you have a, a YouTube account, you have your Google access. And what you can do is open up the tools here and scroll down to voice typing, okay? And what you can do here is you can play the video and allow the voice to text feature within Google Documents transcribe the video for you and then you can copy that text and drop it in there. I'll show you what this looks like here. So we'll go up to, we'll play it. What if your customers could actually do the selling for you? So again, it's not perfect and you might need to do some, some tweaking up here on the audio to be able to get that. But it gives you an excellent start if you were either had a video that you were talking off the cuff or you didn't have something scripted and you copy that and then you can paste that into here and then you click on edit timing and you can kind of tweak this as needed within there. So it's a way of kind of not having to type along with the video, but adding everything in there up front. So that's an option, but really the most accurate option that is available to ensure that you don't have any mistakes is to upload a file. So you can add it with timing or without timing, whichever one that you have, you go into continue and it'll open up, you know, browse, find the SRT file that you have on your computer and upload it from there. Now there's a couple of methods to get this SRT file. And one of the options is to go to a website called rev.com and you go up to services, you go to human transcription, and then you can order transcription. Now you see there is a cost to this. So it's $1.99 
per minute at the time of recording this, and maybe that price fluctuates. But once you do that, you can upload the video, and within a couple of hours, you can get a transcribed SRT file with the time codes or without the time codes, whichever you prefer, to be able to upload directly into YouTube, and you know it's 100% accurate, and you have the peace of mind of doing that. For me, I think depending on your time and availability and funds to be able to do this, obviously paying for captions to be done by a human is the way to have it most accurate and the most hands-free, but there is a cost associated with that. For me, I think the easiest way to go, provided that you have a script or you have the transcription of your script, is to just add the script into the auto-sync and then you can edit out the timing from there that best suits your needs for the video. And that way you can embed the captions directly into your video so that when it's published, people can watch it with or without the captions as they see fit. You can add different languages and really reach a broader audience this way through adding captions within your video. So don't ignore this feature and take a look at it. And I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video.